Hey, I'm artist Micah Gogan, and today we're going to look at carving your own stamps out of linoleum and combining it with the power of gel press and slow drying acrylics for special effects. Let's check it out. So in this video, we're going to talk briefly about how to create your own customizable stamp out of a piece of linoleum. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the linocut process, we'll review it real quick for you. This is a standard piece of um, linoleum that can be found at your typical art store. And this one does not have backing. And I just took a, a photograph. This was just a photograph from a, a family vacation. I just converted it into black and white. And I made it the same size as the uh, gel plate that I anticipate using. And in this case, I'm going to use a 5 by 7 gel plate. So when making my own stamp, if I'm insecure about the drawing, I can always take a piece of transfer paper like I have here, and I can just lay it on top, and I can trace over the outlines of the major shapes, and I can get the shaping similar to here. It's kind of like a ghost print. And once you have your drawing, whether you freehand it or trace it, or you can use other transfer methods to um, get the image on the linoleum, then you cut away the parts that are light that you don't want to see. This is a gauge and you can use it to actually carve into the linoleum to dig away. Now I've already done the process with this image. I created um, as a reflexive version of this little church and I added a tree just to give it a little more interest. But you can see the negative spaces where I've actually cut away. Those are the parts that are not smooth on the surface and the part that's smooth on the surface is the black that you see. That's the places that I did not cut. So with all that aside, uh, we're going to actually use um, this Leno cut to um, create our own gel print without a press. And there's a piece of glass and the gel plate here. And I'm just going to do that so that I can move it around a little bit more easily, right? So I'm going to start by doing a uh, background, and I'm going to be using some slow drying acrylics today, and I've just got a variety of primary colors. I've got a yellow, a red, and a blue, and I'm just going to put um, some background colors on. So I'm just going to add a touch of warmth and a little bit of a warm red down here on the bottom. And I'm just going to use my standard brayer. So that I can get a nice gel tone on there. And you can just kind of mix it up so that you have some variance on there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and print a background. And you can do this on panel or you can do it just on regular print paper, but I've got my, my print and I'm just going to do a ghost print to clean off the rest of the plate. And then I'm going to um, ink the actual plate here. And so in order to do that, I'm going to move this across and put the plate down. And I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, Prussian blue hue. And I'm just going to roll that out. I don't mind that my other colors are mixing because I just want a dark color. And then I'm going to roll that over the plate. To make sure it's only making contact with the surface that's not cut away. Okay, now typically I could put the paper right on top, but because this is so rough, when I go to burnish, a lot of times it will create a residue. So what I'm going to do instead is take the gel plate and place it on top. 
And the reason that I'm putting the firm structure on the bottom and the gel plate on the top is that I can make sure that all the air bubbles come out and that the plate totally makes contact with the surface of the linoleum. Okay, once I feel like the whole thing is um, intact, then I'll flip it back over and pull this up. And now I have an impression from my stamp. And I'm gonna do opposites here. I'm gonna start with the lighter tone. And you get a little bit more of a stamp with a background. And then I can stamp it again. If I wanna ink, just repeat the process. And then I'll just take my second sheet of paper and then that way you have a variety of saturations. You can make it as bright or as dark as you'd like it to be. So that's the process using the linoleum and cutting and um, you can make your own custom stamps. I've even done some with uh, portraits as well so you know just customize it and make it your own and the gel press will make it a little bit easier to do the printmaking and I can print on this as many times as I like if I wanted to add a variety of colors over here I could actually do the multicolor by rolling it on the linoleum so I'm just going to add a little bit of color here and spread it out on the block I don't want to over roll and then I'm going to take the gel plate flip it on top make sure that I make contact so there's no air bubbles flip it over and then I'll take a fresh piece of paper I can make contact with no background at all so that the image stands out a little bit more, but it's still got that variation of color. Now, printing on the gel plate will still give you the gel press effects and all the wonderful um, small nuances versus if I had just put the sheet of paper on the linoleum block. A lot of times, too, these rough edges can tear the paper whenever you uh, push down and rub. It can just kind of tear the paper off. So the gel plate's a lot more uh, forgiving with the medium. But I hope you enjoyed this process, and good luck making your own customizable stamps, and I can't wait to see what you create.